And I have funnels like that for all the different services that I offer, mastering, mixing, whatever else. I have funnels for memberships cancelling payments, so I'll do cleanup tasks of removing them from automations. So, you know, in regards to that, just as an example, how I told you they were forever into a, in a funnel, like that uh, prize draw one, basically... If this tag is removed, that means that their payment has been cancelled or they've unsubscribed from the membership. They'll then enter this funnel, come through, wait two days. I'll get notified, so it'll send me a message to say that somebody's cancelled their payment. It'll wait another two days. This just allows me to make sure there wasn't something that went wrong that the payment did come through a day later, they just didn't have the funds in their account or something like that. We don't want to just quickly cancel them out of the service. Uh, and then doing some other checks for a, a free membership offer that I was doing there and free access, things like that. And then we offer, we can enter an automation of a downgrade or we can add a tagged free access active so I can downgrade them to a free membership as opposed to a paid membership. There's another goal here that says not cancelled. So at some point, if their tag is reapplied because the payment went through, they can jump through all of these hoops to here, which is a goal that basically says, oh, actually they didn't cancel. There was just an error. It's all good now. Skip all this other stuff. And, you know, if we wanted to look at the downgrade to free, we can click on there and go there. So if we're downgrading to a free, so that basically means they're not paying for the service anymore. We don't want to get rid of them. We still want to give them access to our free content. So we're going to wait 12 hours. Again, notify me just so I can do checks. I just like to do checks of things like this. Wait three days. And then you'll see here, we're exiting all of these automations. So these automations are all the ones that a member joins into. Well, some of them, not all of them, but we double check them all. But like there's the prize draw, another prize draw, a practice plan. They won't have all joined all of these, but they will have joined one of them. But uh, just to cover my bases and make it simple, I just get them to exit all of these automations in case they're in any one of them. So basically it exited from all of these automations, which is what's part of my membership. And I also remove all of these tags to clean them up and then audit in the automation. So basically there, that's how I convert their account from a paid member to a free member. So they now are removed from all of those automations. They're removed from all those emails and all the tags are removed to clean them up so that when I look at them, I can see quite easily what they have got and don't have. So you can see how powerful these automations can be. Whatever you can dream up, you can almost create. And you can make it as simple as you like or as complicated as you like. I've probably made these fairly complicated, but I do have a background in IT. So it was... I guess the process of it is quite enjoyable for me to actually work through these funnels and work them all out. One thing, last thing I did want to show is with the contacts. So as an example, if I search for myself, now obviously I've got a lot of tags on me because I just did that for all the testing that I've been doing over time. I'm also in lots of lists and I'm also been in lots of automations. But earlier I talked about trying to find faults and things like that by following things here. But what you can also do is you can actually click on any of these and see what happened. So for instance here, let's find a good one. What's here? Um, oh, if we'll look at a couple. So if we look at a quick one here, the warm client. 
If I click on that, I will see when they went through, how much they completed, and I can actually click on view. And if I click on view, it will open it up and it will show me the path that the person took through the automation funnel. So if you get anything that goes wrong, you can see the path and you can start to fault find your automations, what went wrong. So this is a quite a simple one here because it's just a straight email list. So you can see that I came through here and I hit these emails, did the weights, more emails, 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 keep going, keep going. Remove the tags, remove the tags, end this automation. And what you can also do is if I was actually actively going through this automation at the time, and let's say I'm sitting here at wait four weeks, so I want to do a test. If I'm sitting here and it's me, I can actually, or anybody, I can actually click on a skip wait and it will actually just skip this four week wait and jump forward to the next one. So it's a good way for you to test your funnels by putting yourself in them and running through each one to make sure they work because there's nothing worse than not knowing whether they work. So if we go back, let's find something a little bit more complicated and maybe something that I'm still in. So if we look at the prize draw here, now you'll see here because I'm in it all the time and going over and over again, it's got 440%. So that's a bit funny there, but I can actually manually end this automation and get me, get me kick me out of the automation if I want. But if we do a view, you'll see here what's happening. So when I came into this automation, which was manually, I did this check here. And at that time, it was not greater than 21. So I went down this path here. And you can see here that I'm going this path all the time and you'll see I keep going up and up and up. Now, this is what I mean. This is where I am sitting in the automation right now. I'm sitting right here and I'm waiting for the current day of the month to become the 21st. If I was doing this as a test, I can actually click on this and skip this wait action to be then processed to the next one. And I can keep doing that through all of my waits just so that we can do a quick speed check of our emails and of the process to make sure it actually works. You know, because you don't want to test an automation and wait days and days and days. You just want to quickly flick through. So you just do that with yourself. Skip, 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 skip. So that's what you can do. So, you know, you can look at any clients and any of the automations they're in and see how they've progressed through the automation, where they're sitting in the automation. Have they finished it? Are they still going? You know, so we could look at a service booking here. We could check one here that I did and you'll see the path that I took. So in this case here, I came down here in this test, I did not click on the link, so I went straight over to the no section. And then I, at this point here, you'll see it jump straight down. And that is because I reached the goal. So I jumped straight down to the goal there. Okay, so you can see how powerful that uh, the tool is, Active Campaign. I highly recommend it. Like I said, I use it for my own business, and I would not recommend it if I wasn't using it. So I really love this product. It does amazing things for my business and it allows me to automate so many things that would take up so much of my time and frees me up to do the stuff that's really important for me to do. And I'm really grateful for that and highly recommend this product. So if you want to check it out, click the link below. Uh, just a heads up, the link below is an affiliate link. So if you do click on that link, I do get paid a small commission. It does not change the price for you at all. It's basically a reward from Active Campaign to me for recommending products and getting new members to sign up to them. So your choice if you prefer not to support my business by allowing 
me to get a commission for your click, then I have no problem with that. Please just go to Google, search out Active Campaign, go direct, don't click on my link, and then there'll be no worries about that. But if you're happy to uh, to click my link, I thank you very much for the support. The uh, small commissions that I get paid helps me to be able to do this sort of stuff and to continue to run my business at as cheap a price as I possibly can for my clients. So I thank you very much if you do click on that link, but please do not feel pressured to click on that link. Go directly if you prefer. Hopefully it's been helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in another video.